Road to G.H. will reveal how Sidwell, after arriving in Port Charles, began a series of cruel actions that no one could have foreseen. Obsessed with retrieving the stolen diamonds and seeking revenge on those who hurt him, Sidwell is determined to hunt down the ones who escaped his control. Upon learning that Lucky has returned to town, Sidwell immediately thinks of using Lulu, who is in a coma, as a pawn in his revenge plot. Sidwell not only wants to eliminate Lulu but also aims to leave a dark mark on Lucky's life and all those involved in his defeat. He knows that Lucky would do anything to save his sister, and this is the weakness he plans to exploit. With cold calculation, Sidwell begins crafting the perfect plan to eliminate Lulu without leaving any trace. For weeks, Sidwell closely monitors all activities at General Hospital, memorizing the schedules of doctors, nurses, and the visits from Lulu's friends and family. He realizes that Lucky can only visit his sister in the mornings, while for the rest of the day, Lulu is left alone for most of the time. This presents a golden opportunity for Sidwell to act. One night, taking advantage of the security team's negligence and knowing the shift change schedule, Sidwell sneaks into the hospital disguised as a doctor. He carries the perfect tools for an assassination, an injection filled with an undetectable poison, along with enough knowledge about the life support machines keeping Lulu alive to make her death appear as a medical accident. Step by step, Sidwell approaches Lulu's room, his eyes filled with determination and coldness. At this moment, Lulu remains deep in her coma, completely defenseless against the brutal enemy drawing near. Sidwell reaches for the syringe filled with poison from his coat pocket, preparing to inject it into her vein, ending her life in an instant. But just as he is about to act, he hears a faint noise from the door. Cyrus enters the hospital room and immediately recognizes the danger. Sidwell, with the deadly syringe in hand, is closing in on Lulu's bed. Without hesitation, Cyrus rushes in, and a struggle between the two men erupts. Sidwell, caught off guard by the sudden intrusion, quickly regains his composure and fights back fiercely, holding on to the syringe with the intent to kill Lulu. The two men wrestle in the confined space of the hospital room. Medical equipment on the table is thrown and shattered in the chaos. The dangerous syringe is knocked out of Sidwell's grasp, rolling out of reach. Despite losing his weapon, Sidwell has no intention of giving up. He looks for any object in the room to use against Cyrus. However, Cyrus, with strength and determination, maintains his upper hand, forcing Sidwell into a disadvantage. The intense struggle lasts only a short while, but in the end, Cyrus gains control. After pushing Sidwell away, Sidwell quickly bolts toward the door to escape. Cyrus, though exhausted and wounded from the fight, remains alert to ensure that Lulu suffers no further harm. However, the threat from Sidwell is far from over, and Cyrus knows this won't be the last time he will have to face this enemy. Though the attack was thwarted, Sidwell is certain to return with another plan. The danger still looms, and Cyrus must prepare for the worst-case scenario. After the intense struggle, both Cyrus and Lulu are left with serious injuries. Cyrus, covered in bruises and bleeding from Sidwell's fierce blows, struggles to remain standing after the battle. However, during the fight, Lulu was inadvertently harmed when one of her life support machines was knocked over, leaving her in a more critical condition than ever before. The alarms in the hospital room blare, signaling an emergency. Doctors and nurses rush into the room, shocked at the scene before them. Lulu still lies motionless on the bed, now with faint signs of life. Cyrus, exhausted and injured, remains nearby as the medical staff scrambles to assess the situation and provide emergency care for both of them. News of the attack spreads quickly throughout the hospital, and no one is more alarmed than Lucky. When he arrives, the sight before him feels like his worst nightmare come true. Lulu, the sister he had hoped to protect, now lies on the edge of life and death. Cyrus, a man with a dark past is now gravely injured after trying to protect Lulu from Sidwell. Lucky knows better than anyone that Sidwell won't stop here. This attack is only part of Sidwell's bloody revenge plan. Although Cyrus stopped Sidwell this time, there's no guarantee Sidwell won't come back with a bolder, more ruthless plan. Lucky feels a rising fear, knowing that Lulu is now the prime target of his most dangerous enemy. The atmosphere in the hospital becomes more tense than ever. The doctors do everything they can to stabilize Lulu. 
while Lucky faces the reality that he can't always protect his sister. He knows that to keep Lulu safe, Sidwell must be dealt with once and for all, but the question remains, will he have enough time and strength to stop Sidwell before it's too late? Lulu's condition worsens after the attack, and the doctors fear that the injuries from the struggle may have damaged her liver. Signs of biological instability begin to appear, leading the doctors to worry that Lulu may need an emergency liver transplant to save her life. However, her condition is too weak for her to undergo such a major surgery, and the risk of complications is extremely high. The doctors quickly hold a consultation to decide the best course of action for Lulu, but they admit this is a very difficult situation. A liver transplant is the only option to save Lulu's life, but in her current state, even the smallest mistake could have catastrophic consequences. Finding a suitable liver donor also presents many challenges, as time is running out and Lulu's condition cannot afford any delays.